your point, you know that you can't date. Because when I date, um, it's usually I have to know you for a while now because if I just, you know, like date, I see, like, I, I want to know your trauma, like, <laughs> please tell me, like, give you a writing prompt. <laughs> And that shit ain't cute. So I'm on this thing with this brother, and he's really oppressive. And I'm like, how the fuck did I get myself into this? Like, you know, and I, that's one of the main reasons why I'm dating, because I can't, because I'm like, I'm always trying to deconstruct people, so we have decolonization fucking conversations. I'm like, oh, tell me when the first time you lost your body to a system of oppression. <laughs> And they're all like, um, what do you mean? <laughs> so I don't date no more, which is really tragic because you know you're 20 and like that's the shit you're supposed to be doing. Sad, but true. So this one's called Bad First Date Revelation. Um, it was written for the what's the, what was the name? I think his name was Charles. I like, fucked up name like Charles. <laughs> I changed it to Carlos because it's on the computer. <laughs> He said he wants to join the military to kill bad people. As I open up my heart, I want to tell him that there is no such thing as bad people, only people who have been pushed to the limits. I want to tell him that in class I read textbooks of a history in which his people were once bad, in which their bodies were possessed by demonic spirits, they would speak in tongues, they were uncivilized. I want to tell him that even in places like Texas, Kentucky, Mississippi, he is bad. That to them his skin is dirty. That no matter how much he tries to scrub it, to them he will always be a Negro. I want to tell him that so many people think he is bad because he is black and bisexual. That he embodies the pits of hell. That sin is a much part of him like his skin. I want to tell him. A time when plague mothers would drown their babies by the seed of death and sold into slavery. I want to tell him of times when mothers would rejoice at the death of their children by the seed of spirits roam free and the little bodies hanging from trees. I want to tell him of places where people kill their babies because they are hungry, because entire villages are starving for justice. I want to tell him that even in the military, he is bad because they still have policies like don't ask, don't tell, and he should not tell anybody that he wants to join the military because it's scary. Frightening to imagine that one day his beautiful eyes will see death, that one day his beautiful hands will take life away, that his face will be the last image someone will see and they will associate it with evil. He says he wants to join the military to kill bad people. and want to tell him. That there is no such thing as bad people, only people who have been pushed to the limits. And somehow as we're sitting across from each other in this restaurant, we are being pushed back to our limits. Because the guys sitting next to us are calling us faggots, they're calling us wetbacks, they're calling us niggers. And it is in times like this that I wish I had a gun, a bullet to shoot for all the times I've been called a faggot, for all the times he's been called a nigger. Sometimes I too want to blow up in a room full of homophobes, take them to the very same hell they've condemned me to. I too sometimes feel like ending this life and leaving with a bang. But I understand that bullets stop nothing, the guns are not the answer, that war is evil. I understand that this poem has a lot more impact than shooting a room full of hatred, that this poem is more powerful and profound than their nuclear bombs. That these words are ammunition, and no matter how many times I get tired of speaking, all I have to do is open my mouth to be understood. He says he wants to join the military to kill bad people, and I want to tell him that he has no right, that killing is bad, that war is bad, those guns are bad, those bullets are bad. I want to tell him that he is not them, that he is not metal, that he is all flesh, that his body is just like the rest, no different, that his body looks exactly like those they throw into pits, buried alive and mutilated, that his body is sacred like the many killed in war. I want to tell him that I am just as imperfect as those he is thinking of killing. That even now, someone is waging war on his people because beautiful black boys that look just like him continue to be blood sport to police officials. There is no such thing as bad people, only us who have been pushed to the margins. I want to tell him all this and more, but I don't because it is our first date and I don't want to lose him. <laughs>